Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. I'm here today to share with you two more design team projects for Shabby Art Boutique, the Homemade Club. This is the Sweet Autumn Days Kit. And um, as you saw, I made some beautiful flip tags. And now I'm back to share a couple more wonderful things with you. This is her September kit. We only have a few more days to order. Um, I've gotten confused on my dates, but I do know as of the 15th, a new kit comes out. So I'm thinking right around the 13th is the last time you can order and download. So please do that if this is something you are interested in. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple of unique little projects I made. You did see one of these get made um, during a video and um well you saw the beginning parts of it. it it wasn't actually made i'm just double checking to see kind of where i need to be for you to see it and to see if this is focusing i've been having camera issues so let's see if we've got it fixed today so i can show you this gorgeous kit and all the things i've done with it okay so the first thing is i'm going to move these things off and we'll go over what i have here the first thing is this gorgeous clutch um, that I made. Oh gosh, this lace has been driving me crazy, but I have to have something for contrast or you won't see the work that I've done is this lovely clutch. Now this clutch is made from one of the base um, papers that she has in the kit. As you can see, this is one of the background pages. It's got a gorgeous floral and I've used that as part of my the front of my envelope. And the front here has all kinds of laces and pearls, trims, flat back pearls, full pearls, lots of gorgeous flowers from Prima. Um, and I have some beautiful appliques. I've also used stickles on it and um, glitter and uh, Wicastella. I've got a little bit here. So as you can see, it has a lot of wonderful um, detail. Okay. And then, as you saw me decorate on my video, this is our back. And it's got a little bit of sparkle and bling. It's got some lace, some ribbon, vintage. I've got some vintage um, laces as well. Lots of little pearls. I made my own little stamp with by just cutting out a, a piece of the background paper and using it here. And then I used my Paris stamp. So it, it's been zigzagged all the way around. This is a piece of vellum that I have wrapped over the paper to create these little envelopes. I've been doing these for quite some time. I've probably been making these for well over a year um, and putting them in my shop. Now to keep this closed, I've added a piece of vellum. Um, and then on the inside, we have another piece of the background paper. Isn't that a gorgeous floral print? And I filled it up with some goodies. As you can see, I've signed it here. And again, you can see I've also inked it with um, Tattered Rose um, Oxide. And you have that. And then I made a lovely envelope. This is from the, the kit, the Fussy Cut kit. And um, I have a Fussy Cut Rose, some vintage laces, some pearls, some um, stickles, a couple of flat back pearls. And you can see it's got a little bit of bling um, I'm hoping that's going to focus if I sit there for a minute flip it over we have the back side again we've got a little bit of stickles and a pearl and then you open it up and we have a lovely journal card again this is um, got some vintage lace and pearls it's got a little bit of stickles on it and the back is just um, from the kit is one of the background pieces. This particular piece is one from one of um, Shabby Art Boutique's uh, freebies. And this little piece here comes once a month. She puts out goodies that you can get in her freebie files, but you have to be a member of her handmade club and belong to her Facebook group. Cause a lot of those both, um, and then you find them on her blog a lot of times. She has file sections, lots of ways to get lots of goodies. She does give us goodies several times a month that we can use to work with our projects. So this is one of those pieces. So it's a kind of a thank you from her. This is another background page that I've turned into a lovely little um, journaling piece. It's got a piece of paper. There's a lovely pumpkin that I've added a little stickles to. I don't know if that's showing. Let me see if you could see that. Yeah, just a little bit. And then um, this is a faux, um, oh gosh, guys, what are these called? Uh, <laughs> anyway, close the envelope. So 
It's one of those faux ones that I've had in my stash forever. So I've, I've added that to, to give you some goodies to put into the envelope. And um, we're going to open it up. And we're going to put that back inside. So this envelope comes with all these goodies that I made from her kit. She's a beautiful digital kit. Just stunning. There's so many ideas. I had so many... I had to cut it down. I, I could have kept going and going and going, but I need to move on to some other projects. So we close the envelope. It's good to go. It makes a beautiful gift or something pretty on your dresser. So that is our envelope. I'm going to hold it for a minute. And there you have it. I hope you saw that. I hope it came up good. So, alrighty. Next, I have this lovely pocket piece. This is a pocket pumpkin. And um, she, I'm going to call her a she because she's so gorgeous. She's a peachy pink and she's a good size piece. I don't think I have a, well, let's see, how wide is she? She's about seven and a half inches and she's roughly eight and a half inches tall. Good size piece. Um, could be hung on a wall as a decoration, given as a gift. I mean, all kinds of things you could do with this. And as you can see, it's just a really lovely pocket. Let me see. Oh, oh, let's see if I can get it. It's got some stickles on it. Vintage lace. I don't know if you're getting that. Oh, and then I also have sprayed it with a mica mist spray um, up here. I sprayed that with a gold and a pink mica mist spray and then used the stickles to go around. We've got pearls. Um, and it's been inked around with a tattered rose. Then this is a vintage lace that I um, glued up and I added some of the Tim Holtz rock candy glitter. All right. And then you can see the pretty flowers. Let me move that down. That was really close. So let's see. Catching the light this morning. It's early morning on Friday. Look at that. Pretty, huh? And it is a full pocket. So, and it is backed on 110 cardstock, as you can hear. And it gives it a really nice body. It is also, I use some um, 3D, you know, mounting tape underneath. I've used a couple layers to give us some dimension so that it stands out and looks more real. Uh, I used on this one, um, I use some um, Prima Flowers, full pearls, halfback pearls, um, stickles, glitter. So it's got it's got the works. And then I just made a couple little from the kit. There were plenty of little fussy cuts to use to fill up this lovely pocket. Just so, not that it really needs it, but just to give you a little something. And there is vintage lace pearls and stickles on that as well. I don't know. Hopefully you're getting that. And then I took one of the fall bingo cards. Again, I stickled it up, add vintage lace, pearls. Just wanted a little bit of bling. I don't know, it's really bright this morning, but better than yesterday, I filmed it and it was so dark in the room. There were so many shadows that, and it was so blurry, I had to throw the video out. So anyway, there we go. These are my final two projects for the Shabby Art Boutique. And I hope you really like these and you'll think about getting the kit. I'm, I, like I said, I don't get anything from this, from doing this. I just do it for the love of it and for how much I love these kits and want to share them with you. I am on her design team because I like to make beautiful things as much as I can. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that this has that hem tape all the way around in a kind of scrunched up. And then I also have some lovely um, appliques from Claudia at Timeless Crochet for you. So I did use some of Claudia's appliques on both of these and some of her laces and things. So, and then the rest of them, I have no idea where I got them because <laughs> I have a huge collection. So anyway, I want to thank you for coming along and having a peek at my newest pieces. And um, I hope you enjoyed that and that you will um, maybe consider grabbing this kit for yourself if you like autumn and you like pink and you like shabby. So thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all very soon with my next project. And hugs and kisses, everyone. I love you bunches. Bye-bye.